morning everybody i'm in winkler manitoba about to unload these rolls i'll show you how we do it There you go, unloaded, ready for the farmers. <sighs> Just gotta roll up these straps. And then I'm gonna head home for a little bit, spend some time with the family. And then this evening, I'm gonna run over to Kenora. I have another load to pick up there tomorrow morning. Bring that down to Brainerd again. Well, it's always nice when I'm able to just unload myself. Now technically, like, I was in the yard here yesterday already. I guess I could have unloaded myself then, but I do need a signature from them, and I did need them to confirm that this is where they wanted it, so I waited till they got here in the morning. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. They're just like, yeah, they looked at my load, they like, signed a paper, it's like, just across the street, go drop it off there, put it anywhere out in the open, you're good to go. Nice. Sometimes these things don't want to roll off the back, and it gets a little exciting. You've seen me do it before in, like, the farmer's field before. They, they get a flat spot on the bottom and they're a little heavy, they're hard to move. So what I gotta do is I gotta drive forward, drive back and then stop really suddenly and then start going forward again and get them to roll off the back. That's always fun. Uh, I don't know. I guess, I, I guess I'm still a kid at heart. <laughs> so all right, so the plan right now, like I was telling you, is to go home uh, for a couple of hours. Uh, maybe eat something there. I think Theo's gonna be in his nap right then, which is unfortunate. But I'll spend some time with my wife and maybe I'll be there to get him up when he's finished his nap. And then this evening we'll head out to Kenora, get ready there to get loaded first thing tomorrow morning so that we can get unloaded in the afternoon again. And uh, we'll see what we go from there. We had a load opportunity that I could have gone to Iowa to pick up, but it would have gotten me home Saturday evening, which would have been perfectly fine on any other weekend, right? It would have been fine. I really like those loads too. It's a load of tires. Oh, they, they're great loads. I want it. But I have a Thanksgiving dinner. Because remember, I'm a Canadian. Our Thanksgiving is in October. I know you Americans do it in November for some reason. But in November, there's already snow on the ground here. We can't do that. Our fall season is in October. Yours is in November. You guys got a little bit better. Whoa. A little bit better weather than us. What was that all about? What are you guys doing? Hang on. Hang on, people. Buckle up. So... We do our Thanksgiving in uh, October. Brit's side of the family has their gathering this Saturday and they've been planning this for well over a month already. So it's not like I don't know about it or like it was short notice. And my wife is making cabbage rolls 
and I said that I would be there Friday evening to help. If at all possible, I'll be there Friday evening to help, but I'll definitely be there on Saturday for the gathering. It would've been a good load, but that's all right, that's all right. It'll come back to us sooner or later. You know, it's actually bright out here. It's bright. I got my work lookers on right now. Put those work lookers away. Let's put our driving lookers on. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. As my son would say. Ooh. Ooh. He's one and a half. Ooh. All right. Let's go. I'm going to go see if I can switch trailers. I, I can use this flatbed I have for my load tomorrow. But I'd rather have a step deck, if possible. So I'm going to go to the yard and see what's there. I'm going to hand in my paperwork anyway. We'll see what's there. Hi-ho, hi-ho. Off to work we go. We're already at work, so... Uh, off to our next work we go. With the stop by at home. Dick, dick, penny. Britt doesn't know I'm coming home yet. I believe we have a, a, a she has a play date lined up for our son today with our friends uh, uh, Marvin and Amanda's son. Uh, I think that they're I think that's today. I tried calling her, she didn't answer the phone, so I'm guessing that's what must be going on. Or she's napping already. It is his nap. Well, close to his nap time. We'll see. I got a couple hours yet. Or I gotta. Before I'll be there. Which way? I'll go this way. I'm going this way. Up. Uh, I was able to go home for about four hours, which is perfect. And now before I leave, I'm going to restock the truck with water. I'll make sure I always have lots of water. I think I still got four cases in there, but I like to have eight. I don't know, call me crazy. But I like to have lots of water in the truck because I use it for all kinds of stuff. Like I use it for stuff like brushing my teeth, uh, making food, drinking, obviously. And I've been drinking a lot more water recently. Oh, I'm in the wrong lane. I'm going to Superstore, not Walmart. Maybe I should go to Walmart. They don't make you pay for the carts there. You know, Superstore, you gotta put the dollar, like the loony, into the cart to give you a cart. But no, we get points at Superstore. That's right, that's why we fill up at Superstore gas stations as well. Uh, mobile gas. Then we get points, and we can use those points to buy groceries. I can tell you something, I've been spending a lot less in food, a lot less since I've been on, I'm still doing this intermittent fasting thing, but I've, I've really put my nose to the grindstone on this and I've really gotten intense and I've, I've lost 24 pounds in the last, uh, last while. When did I start this? Two months ago. So it's been going fast and I got serious. That's what I mean. When you get serious about something and you get serious about it, it happens fast. So I went down from 228 pounds. I just weighed myself at home after I ate. 206 pounds, but it was, I was at 204 pounds uh, before I ate. So that would be the actual weight, because I always weigh myself with an empty stomach, usually. With clothes on, still. So I probably have like a pound of clothes on, so I'm probably less than that. So I'm at 204 pounds. Remember, my goal is to stay below 200. I'm going to bring myself down to 190 to 180. We'll see how I feel at 190. But uh, we are moving. By Christmas time, I will have reached my goal. By Christmas. If it if if it keeps up like this, it's uh, been happy about it. But yeah, anyways, we're here at Superstore, and uh, I guess yeah, because I'm getting softener salt for the house too. I'm going to need a cart. Oh shoot! And I don't have a loony with me. I have to figure something out. Sometimes you can jimmy it. <laughs> Sometimes you can use a quarter. Sometimes I, don't know, I can try using a toonie. Toonies are probably too big though. We shall see. 
Am I in the lines? Yes, yes I am. I always park in the lines, people. Nothing more annoying than those people who think they're more important to her than everyone else taking up two spots. I don't care if you have a Lamborghini. You don't need two spots. <laughs> okay, maybe if I had a Lamborghini, I'd probably take up two spots too. But hey, my semi-truck is about worth the same, if not more than a Lamborghini. And I try to take up as few spots as possible. It's just that I'm longer, so when I go to these parking lots, I have to take up two spots, like lengthwise. I don't know. Let's go in Superstore. I'm gonna go and uh, grab what I need. I'll talk to you when I get back. We gotta head to Kenora. Well, two hours east. Got lots of time, but uh, I wanted to make sure I had lots of time. I wanna get some videos and stuff edited tonight yet, so that when I get home Friday, I got nothing to do for the vlog. That that's the whole week has been caught up with. I try to get everything caught up when I'm on the road. So that when I go home, I don't have work distracting me. Four cases. I would get a lot of anxiety if I didn't have water in my truck. And a lot of it. I don't know why. It's one of the things that has to be stocked all the time. Sometimes I run out, but I go like to the next truck stop and I'll pay whatever price they are to get like a 12 pack or a 224 pack or whatever. Water. Very important. Food is important too, but I'd say water is important. Important to her. Second time I've used that classy word in this vlog, important to her. Don't act like you're not impressed. I don't want to drive too fast because it's going to fall over. I have them all stacked up on my seat. Oh, 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 they're leaning against the door now. <laughs> I got a bunch of other stuff in my back seat. I didn't have any room. So we'll just drive real, real slow to the truck. ball of fire decided to come back it took forever to get here it's taking longer and longer every day again it's sleeping in because it's lazy you know we were on a good path it kept getting up earlier and earlier and earlier and now it just keeps waking up later sunrise with here was uh, uh what's seven well it's 7 30 eh. It's going in the wrong direction though. Sunset was 647. I know that because I checked that out yesterday. So we got to Kenora last night uh, and parked here, ready to go. Now we're at the customer. We're going to load up uh, another load for Brainerd. I have a step deck behind me, so I won't have to use three tarps this time. I'll just have to use two. I hope. I hope that's the case. There's two drivers ahead of me that got here before me. I don't know how they did it because I was here before they even opened, but there, there they were waiting already. So uh, as soon as they get loaded, uh, they'll go into the tarp shed, start tarping. I know the guys, they, they work for us. Uh, they won't be long in the tarp shed. So uh, probably by the time I get there, I, I won't have to wait long. I can always go and help them too. And then they'll get out of there, start heading south towards Brainerd. And then I'll go into the tarp shed, tarp my load up, wrap it up like a nice little Christmas present because Christmas is coming. And then I'll start heading south as well. I don't have a reload, and I don't think I will have a reload. I explained this uh, earlier, oh, yesterday for me, so excuse me if I'm repeating myself for you, because that was yesterday for me. I'm filming this the next morning, just wrapping this up. But yeah, Thanksgiving gathering this weekend. So I hope you guys here in Canada have a fantastic Thanksgiving. Uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more uh, as the time goes on. I know you're watching these uh, a little bit after Thanksgiving already. I have to keep that in mind, because it takes me... A little while to put these together and I give myself a week buffer zone so when I film a video like this on Thursday I release it the following Thursday that just keeps everything in order for me so it's one week behind that also gives the members on my channel an opportunity to watch the video first if they want to so very often I'll upload my videos uh, the same day after I film them or a few days after, but definitely earlier uh, than they get released on YouTube. Then they just sit there waiting. I schedule them to release at 4 p.m. Central Time. That's how they come out at the same time every day. 
However, while they're waiting there to be released, the members get to watch them if they want to. Uh, also, when you leave a comment, then you get a little like badge beside your beside your name. Uh, if you click the Join Now button now, down below, you can read more about it. If that's not for you, if that's not what you want to do, uh, the best way to support me if you like my videos uh, is giving it a thumbs up. That always helps with the algorithms. By leaving a comment down below, that really helps with the algorithms because it shows YouTube that people are engaging with my content, that they're watching and engaging with it. Because YouTube knows that it's easy just to watch a video, but if you comment on a video, that means you're kind of invested in that video, right? And they probably want to share it to more people. That's why me and other YouTubers always say, please leave us a comment down below. Anything, anything else, you want to go down there, surprise me. Uh, name your favorite animal. I don't know, name your favorite season. Just leave a, a period, just a dot. It doesn't really matter how long it is. I, I appreciate the ones that are actually related to the video because it shows you watch the video, like, obviously. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll take any comments, please. I'm begging. Uh, that's the best way to support the channel, though, and that's totally free. And also, the obvious one, subscribing. I make new videos every day of my life. I've been doing this for like 13 years. There's lots of videos online of me already. Uh, if you want to join the story of my life, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so that you get a notification every day so you don't miss it. So you come back and leave me more comments. So that YouTube thinks, wow, even more people want to watch these videos. Let's show it to even more random people. See how many people, we're just fishing here. We're throwing out our line into the YouTube world. We're just fishing for subscribers. That's what all YouTubers do. We're just fishing. See, see if people like it. Because I make like a very niche comment. Uh, niche content. This is about mostly about trucking. It's also about my life behind the scenes as a, as a father, as a husband. Uh, a son, a brother, like it's uh, my, my life at home. I include that in there too. I sort of give you a rounded view of what my life is like through my eyes. So uh, not everybody's going to be interested in that. Some people think that they'd rather watch, uh, or they, they, they've told me many times, actually. They're honest. I appreciate the honesty. They would rather watch paint dry than watch my videos. I've been told that uh, golf is more entertaining than my videos. So it's not for everybody, but obviously it's for you because you're still watching here right at the end and I'm just babbling away here and here you are still sitting here watching me. <laughs> so it does appeal to some people at least and there's 9 billion people on this planet, about 3 billion YouTube users and we've got about 137,200 subscribers or something like that. I think we can get more than that. I think one day we can hit a million. But let's set our goals a little lower first. We, we, we reached our goal of 50,000 first. Then we reached our goal of 100,000 and I got my silver play button. That was a big moment for me. Really awesome. Thank you, you guys, for subscribing. After this is the uh, uh, the platinum play button. That's after 10 million followers. No, 1 million followers, right? Yeah, 1 million you get. Or this is the gold play button. I don't even know because I haven't even thought that far ahead. Like, if we get to a million, I'd be surprised. Pleasantly surprised, though very happy about it. So we're at 137,000 right now. Right now, our short-term goal is 150,000. And what if we could get it to a quarter million one day? Slowly. Going we have a slow, steady growth on this channel. I'm not a channel that's exploding in popularity, that's going like, like to the moon so fast, right? But I'm proud of that. I have a very organic following. I've never paid for subscribers or, or anything. The only thing I have done is uh, make content online and ask people to subscribe. And I have somehow gathered 137,000 plus people that have decided, you know, this guy's kind of weird. I might follow him, subscribe, and they hit the subscribe button. That, that's pretty cool. So we're going to keep trying to grow the channel uh, organically. I want real followers. I don't want people who just click the subscribe button uh, just because some bot told them to, right? Uh, I want uh, I want people who actually want, are interested in following me, maybe being friends, you know. But uh, that's that's the goals here on the channel. Uh, I want to keep making these videos until I'm old, you know. I don't know how interesting I'll be there. If I'm as boring as paint drying now or golf, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to be like when I'm 90, just filming a vlog of me trying to cross the road. I mean, that'll be entertaining in itself. That'll take a while, but... Uh, We'll see what happens in life, right? Anyways, I gotta wrap this up. Thanks for hanging out with me right to the end. I appreciate all of you. Uh, you guys are all awesome. I'll see you in tomorrow's video, right? Right, you'll be here? I hope so, I'll need your company. 
Uh, this is a familiar route for me that I do over and over, so it gets boring for me after a while doing the same thing over and over. So having you guys here and being able to talk to you guys makes it a little bit more fun. So I'll see you then. I'll see you tomorrow, 4 p.m. Central Time. Take care, everybody.